Burning, The Good Times Podcast Features Full Language and Insensitive Comments Performed by Professionals. Accordingly, Good Times Podcast must insist that no sold plate is so outlawed during work, at school or with your grandma. Enjoy the show. On this week's episode of the Good Times Podcast, we're digging in to our spam folders. We also go over a couple of items that are based on the seven deadly sins. And finally, have you ever wanted to create your own wrestler? We do just that. All of this and much more emanating live from the GTP hole. This is the Good Times Podcast. Good Times Podcast. slave mind the executioner and if you don't know now you know and fresh out the box stop look and watch ready yet get set it's all manac jack 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 hey there everybody (laughs) and hey executioner you are listening to another episode of good times that's right this is the good times podcast where there's good laughs good fun and it's always a good time damn right How's everybody doing out there? I know I'm doing okay. It's raining outside. It's not too bad. <laughs> Executioner, how are you doing? I don't know. I'm still waiting for everybody else to respond that you just asked. How are you guys doing out there? <laughs> if we had a live studio audience, it'd be a lot better. Yeah, that's true. That, yeah, that's true. Well, it, you know, like it, like the Jimmy Fallon show or, or you know, uh, uh, Conan or something like that. Conan. They always have like, you know, cue cards or light ups and, you know, it says applause or oh, whatever yeah, like that. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's you know, true. so like we would have to have a, a cue card or something like that. And then they'd be all like, we're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> we should have like a um, one of those fucking lights that just lights up and just says fuck. So when it pops up, we're just like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, but it blinks and it, and it dings. It's all yeah. ding, ding, ding. <laughs> and it's like, all I got to say is I don't give a <laughs> That'd be pretty dang cool. Damn right it would be. <laughs> the originator. Hell yeah. So what's going on, man? Not much. It's been a fucking crazy week. I mean, here we are on Saturday recording. We just recorded on Tuesday to get out that late episode. So not too much happened this past week. What about you? Anything happened this past week? Uh, aside from working in the uh, chip industry, <laughs> the chip industry, uh, people going crazy, buying all the chips. Because uh, Lord knows that uh, when the world's about to end and you need food, you got to get a bag of Fritos. You got to get out yeah, something like that. <laughs> Idiots. <clears throat> There's probably one thing that everybody says before they're going to die. They're like, well, if I'm going to die today, I have to, number one, lose my virginity, and number two, eats a bag of Cheetos or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah. That's obviously on the like, I just need the taste of a Cool Ranch Dorito something. one more time. <laughs> Give them a adrenochrome yeah. Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, every every new Dorito has a sprinkle of adrenochrome on it. <laughs> Damn, and, that thing would sell out quick. Hell yeah, it'll make you feel great. Oh, so Just great. like Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you too, because, okay, so I was going around. Okay, so the other day, I went to go run a bunch of errands. So this, these are the places that I went to. I went to Walmart. I went to Winco. I went to CBS. Um, where else did I go? Um, I went to go eat somewhere. I forgot where the fuck. Where did I go eat? Probably Taco Bell or some shit. Somewhere bad. <clears throat> so I and and then so I went into a couple other places like gas stations and stuff like that. Oh, and Jamba Juice. And so all of these are open, right? Because they're all essential businesses, whatever. I go to the fucking car wash and it's closed. The fucking car wash is closed. That's Why? Weird. Yeah. Why is the car wash closed? You're not interacting with anybody there. Exactly. And here's the thing. I pull up to the fucking car wash, and there's fucking links that, so you can't get through the chain links, the little stupid plastic ones, and the fucking people are just 
there in the booth just standing there. But they're not letting any cars in. But nobody's there. Like, at all. Huh. Like, so I, at first I'm thinking, okay. Are they well, there just to say we're not here or I, I don't we're know. not open? No, because you can't even get that far. Oh. You, yeah, you can't even get that far. So I, I don't understand. Like, okay, hats off to them. They, they're they still getting paid, you know. Yeah. You know, I'm, no I'm problem happy there. for them. Yeah. But what the hell? Like, so I'm thinking, well, maybe it's lunchtime or something like that. No, it's not lunchtime because there's no cars even in the vicinity. Huh. So not, e- like, <laughs> not even fuck? clean cars? Not even clean cars. Jeez. Not clean cars, not dirty cars, not nasty cars. Not gross cars. Not gross cars, oh. old cars, nude cars. Filthy slut cars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I got to find me one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in the gas hole. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Like... If y'all have seen some obscure places that have been closed, let me know because I definitely want to know. Because I thought, for one, the car wash would have been open. Because I mean, you know, why is it closed? Like, if they have like the vacuums and stuff like that, okay, maybe that part could be, you know, closed off because you're less than six inches between everybody. You know, a, a dick length. But it's just like average dick length. Average. <laughs> an average dick length. Okay. And but going through like. You can't even be six inches away from each other in your car. And it's not like, what the fuck? Yeah. Um, I did get an email from them today, actually. <clears throat> surf and turf? <laughs> yeah. Surf and, <laughs> surf and or turf. And or turf. And or turf. Um, okay. I might have deleted it. but uh, <laughs> Of course. But it was basically some something along the lines of like, oh, uh, with all this COVID bullshit going on. Uh, we've made some changes and here's our list of changes and it took me to a link. So I was like, yo, you guys already do your reverse osmosis bullshit to your water. <laughs> like, are you doing like triple somersault moon salt uh, <laughs> gonna osmosis say, to your water? Something happened there. You know, like, are you changing every brush head uh, for your car so your car doesn't get COVID? And, <laughs> I don't know, man, but yeah, it, it was something stupid because I, I, um, I joined their, uh, what do you call it? Membership program. Like one month because somebody got me a gift card. Oh, that's right. So um, ever since then, I, I get their emails and. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you know what? It might have been in my text messages actually. Um. Yeah, sir. Uh, surf through is essential to help stop the spread of COVID nineteen. Um, a clean vehicle is important, and we've made important changes. So. So well, first and foremost, I didn't get this shit, and I'm a returning. And paying customer. Crustomer. I am a crustomer above all crustomers, and I'm the one that gets it done. Hey, wait a minute. What? It says right here, surf through will remain open as an essential business. Bullshit. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Listen here, surf and turf. The next time I need to go in and get a car wash, all three of your motherfuckers that are in the little building thingamajig in their little troll house are going to come out they're going to escort me in themselves, and then from there, they will wash my car with their spit and their shine, and then they'll dry their it off. spit? And then the women, I want to see them take it all off. Yeah. And dry it off that way. Yeah. If there's a guy there, I don't care. But no. Yeah, <laughs> take the water off the windshield with your boob. <laughs> this is absolutely horse shit. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Oh, Gosh, I'm down for that. Jeez. Um, okay, so this is what it says. Uh, these are their fault. Fo- the following are their COVID nineteen safety practices. Gloves are mandated for the employees. Didn't see any of those. Gloves available for guests at no charge. Didn't get one of those. Extra disinfectants stocked to sanitize. Obviously didn't get that. Pay stations are wiped down regularly. Okay, that's stupid. Vacuums. Uh, every other vacuum hose has been removed to promote greater separation. Pinchy hose. And vacuum handles will be cleaned after every use. Oh god. We'll have an attendant in the vacuum area. Actually, they spelled that wrong. There's a typo. We'll have a we'll have an attendant in the vacuum R to clean the hose <laughs> after each use. <laughs> I didn't see any of them either. Huh. Which one did you go to? Uh the one right here by was it fucking oh sorry. Where the, the one just going down Ashland, right? Yeah, yeah, Ashland. Sorry. Okay. Ashland and... Yeah, that's the one I go to. Huh. So I don't know. What the fuck? Uh <laughs> And it would have been even worse. That's not a great answer, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And it would have been even worse if I would have gotten the car crash because here's the thing. When you're trying to pull into the thing, 
there's people coming at, uh, through the drive through pharmacy, and there's like that little fucking corner, and you can't see a uh, a fucking car going one way or coming out the fucking pharmacy thing. Yeah, that's bullshit. So imagine if I would have gotten a fucking car wreck before I would have got my car washed, and then found out I couldn't get my fucking car washed. Fuck! <laughs> and they wouldn't give you extra gloves. And... They wouldn't have fucking dry, dried my shit off with fucking naked women and stuff like that. This is a bullshit. And... No, I got nothing else. <laughs> and... Andy! And... Yeah. Some um, bullshit. Uh, <laughs> you want to go through the spam? The email spam? I'm down, dude. Okay, I'm so down. What do you, you got some good stuff or well, what? Well, here's one that's just hella random. It says <laughs> splash wine. And it's, <laughs> it says swirl, sip. And savor 15 bottles of top-rated <laughs> wine, 72% off. What the fuck? Yeah, 15 bottles of mystery overstocked wines. What the hell? Yo, fuck that. It's probably just blood. <laughs> <laughs> so I got one here. It says, looking for sex tonight in your area? Oh, yeah. Naughty girls that want to fuck! Oh, yeah. Search now. Gross. Or to unsubscribe, click here, which is probably like a fucking... Which is probably the thing you should do. Yeah, actually, you're right. Um, okay, here's this one. Attractive Russian women looking for love. <laughs> <laughs> Russian RussiaWomenOnline.com. My webcam is live. Oh. It says, uh, you definitely make loads of girls go crazy for you. <laughs> How do you feel when women make the first move? Excited? Then you should never miss the opportunity to join. RussiaWomenOnline.com. Sign up for free in seconds oh. and watch their smile in webcam now. What the fuck, dude? Oh, my goodness. Okay, I got one here that says, <clears throat> sorry, the headline is, You have one new Insta-fuck message. <laughs> and it goes on to say, How badly do you want to fuck right now? I've already used my vibrator twice today. Twice? But, but I can't help myself. I need a fuck buddy so bad. I can come <laughs> over if you want. Want to see my new pics? You can check them out here with a link. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> probably ran out of batteries on that vibrator. <laughs> no, they probably they probably ran out of batteries in their brain because here's the thing. Insta fuck. The, okay, so anything that has to do with fuck is starred out. So okay. it's like the, the U is has a star on it. Okay, how badly do you want to... Thick with the fucking asterisk, <laughs> right? Now, N0W, I've already used my vibrator. The I is replaced with a one twice. What the fuck? Okay, it says vibrator with a one twice. That's yeah. how you know it's all fucked up. Yeah. This is a spam. Absolutely spam. All right, here's this one. Improve your home safety with a walk-in bath. <laughs> <laughs> Walk-in tub for seniors. A slip-resistant tub makes bathing safer. With a new walk-in tub, you won't have to worry about slipping in the bath again. Find your features uh, you need to make your bath time safer. A sturdy grab bar, slip-resistant, and low step. Get free quotes from local contractors and start your walk-in tub project today. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, so this one... <laughs> this one says... Do you poop three <laughs> times per day? If not, eat this for breakfast, or you may be dying a slow death. Oh, this God. is literally just the headline. I mean, I'm I'm already sucked in. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, sure. I don't want to die. So <laughs> it goes on to say, doctors can scream. This is medically impossible. All they want, but they can't deny the lab test results. Every single one. <laughs> Every every single one of the thousands of patients who have used this crazy cheap method first thing in the morning erase their constipation forever in as little as a couple of days by eating this for breakfast. And it doesn't tell you what it is unless what you What is the, this? It, I need to know. I mean, so all I can think of is this. Uh, it must be this girl okay. who was just holding like a fucking YouTube sign or some shit. <laughs> so I, I guess you have to eat her and like... Or eat the sign. Oh, eat, that makes more Could sense. You know what? I'm sorry. Got to get your daily to, dose to of YouTube. My, to all the listeners out there, I, I apologize. Yeah. I should have known they were eating the sign. All right. Here's a real good one. Hey. Have... <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's like trying to do fucking commercials, dude. <laughs> hey. 
Have you given Asian dating a try? <laughs> Date hot Asian. Uh, let's see. Hello. How do you feel when women make the first? This is the wait a minute. This is the same. This is the same one. <laughs> Except this one's DateHotAsian.com. <laughs> Date Hot Asian connects gentlemen around the world with Asian women for dating, romance, I... and fun. Cam share? Yes. Live chat? Yes. Video chat? Absolutely yes. Anything else? <laughs> yes. Just yes. click to explore all the possibilities. DateHotAsian.com. Oh, my God. That's funny. As I'm going through this, I actually see the walk-in bathtub shop. Hey, so all right. I... I don't know what the fuck happened there. Nice. Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's see here. We'll go with... God, I can't find any more sex ones. Oh, I already found one. How, how do I not get enough of these? This is crazy. I know, right? Survive, survive coronavirus.org. <laughs> Definitely don't go there. Yeah. Um, They're probably going to give you coronavirus. <laughs> date cute Russian. See? What the fuck? All of a sudden, that, that not that the same thing you just did? Yeah. So, oh, so far, we have uh, DateHotRussian.com and DateHotAsian.com. <clears throat> and DateCuteRussian. Yeah. Well, here's this one. Look, it Go says, ahead. you'll never need Viagra again. <laughs> Get maximum sexual benefits from this. Longer stamina, harder erections, <laughs> and stronger performance. And then that's it. Because, look, it's just one of those... Only text. Oh my god! No pictures, no boners, no nothing. No, no boners. You know what? I I've been messing up this whole time. I was in my regular email, and one oh. thing I have an email that I literally use for all my spam stuff, where it's like I know like they're gonna send me a shit ton of spam, so I just have like a random ass email. Okay. So I was like, you know what? How the fuck I did not jump in here. It says I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> Watch my nude pics yeah. and my cat. Well, it says, it says the other Wait, thing. the cat has nude pics, too? I guess so. All right. <clears throat> it says, hi. <laughs> hi. New fuck buddy photo request. My whole body is shaking. Click here. I want you now. All right. <laughs> and I'm then at the very bottom, it says, this is an advertisement. <laughs> no shit. Fuck? Okay, here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> Over 50 and looking for love? <laughs> Meet no, your no. best matches on Silver Singles. Silver Singles? Silver Damn. Singles. Uh, find yours on the site for 50-plus dating. Take our scientifically backed personality test and immediately receive singles matched to your personality and preferences. Safe and secure. 20,000 new members join us every month. And intelligent matchmaking. Oh, how nice. Oh, hell nice. Okay, he's got a picture of like an old guy on a motorcycle with his bitch. <laughs> That's like the pictures for like Viagra and stuff like that. Yeah. You're like, oh, Centrum yeah. Silver or something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Okay, so this one, it literally just says, hey, you, with a bunch of hearts. Hey. And, and the message just says, to stop receiving these emails from us, just hit reply and let us know. Thanks. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Where is the, the good stuff at? Like, Where is my message, Amanda? Shit! Yeah. <laughs> what Bitch. the fuck? What is happening? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, shit. This is great. Okay. Um, oh, come on. Load. Here we go. Check load. out limited time tactical headlamp offer. <laughs> this special offer featured in militaryveterans.org and armyveterans.org. 1,000 lumen tactical headlamp is one of our 2016 hottest trending items. Yo, they're four years late on oh that thing. Oh, God. Don't miss your chance to claim yours. You can get a fucking, just a headlamp. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> so, oh, wait a minute. I just came across a funny one. Oh, shit. Okay. This one just says, I need your help, in all caps. My name is Captain Jeffrey Lawson of the U.S. Army Force, <laughs> spearheading the U.S. military base here in Syria. Please, I urgently need you to help me safeguard the money I have here in my possession, which is worth the sum of eleven million five hundred thousand U.S. dollars, Ooh. and that's eleven point five million dollars. If I didn't know, apparently. Okay. I want you to know that this opportunity has crossed my way a countless number of times, which I and some commander of mine. Okay, which some commander of mine. Just some random commander. Yeah. <laughs> Cobra commander. Always submitted whatever money we recovered to the U.S. Defense Office until, until. recently we found out they've been keeping all the money we recover from the attack <gasps> to themselves rather than submitting them to the Treasury Department. Those bitches. In this effect, 
I and my commanders have decided to share whatever money we recover from any attack we carried out on terrorist group here in Syria. And right now, I have a sum of 11.5 million U.S. dollars. Us dollars? Us dollars. That's why I deemed it necessary to look out for a trusted person who will assist me in safeguarding the cash until I get out of this horrible zone. Horrible. It was on this effect that I started search here online for Jesus. an honest person whom <laughs> I can trust and come across your mail address. And I want to know if you're willing to help us do this. <laughs> what the fuck if you okay this is a little bit left i want you to know that you are not going to do this for me for free i am willing to offer you 30 percent a whopping 30 percent of the total amount of the 11.5 million dollars usd us d us d if you do help me and stand <laughs> as a recipient for me and will be the sender, which I will send the money through delivery company that operates here in Syria. I will wait for your response, and you can get back to me. On Sounds my like email. a Syrian road. What the fuck? Jeffrey one two four five at littletittyfuck.com. Because I'm not gonna give out the rest of that. But oh, okay. <clears throat> hey, yo, thirty thirty percent of of eleven million though. That's still three million and some change. That's not bad. That's that's still some pretty good us D. So what you're. <laughs> So what you're saying is I should reply. Yeah, get that us Shit. dollars. You know what? I'm going to do that right now. All right, cool. We're going to break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the last one I got here, All it right. says, question mark? Coronavirus is scary. Breathe easier with safe mask? Look at <laughs> safe <the> mask? <laughs> uh, warning. Due to the recent coronavirus outbreak, supplies are running out fast. Face mask finally available in the U.S., could help against deadly virus outbreak. Uh, warning. Due to the recent coronavirus <laughs> outbreak, supplies are running out fast. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Somehow got an accent from reading You're this. Fast. Uh, the threat of infection is real. Stay safe with safe mask. Get up to 50% plus free shipping. Not bad. Wow. Yeah. FFP2 protection level. <laughs> Fuck for pussy too. No, <laughs> protection level. I don't know. Designed to cover the nose, mouth, and chin. CE certificate of conformity. Exhalation valve allows for easy breathing. <laughs> Three to four days delivery time. Uh, get protected now. If you'd like to not receive future emails, unsubscribe here. Wow. Not bad. What the fuck? All hey, right. look at there's a part two. Look at it. Oh, God. It goes straight into the Silver the silver Singles Associate. Oh, my goodness. Of course. Silver Singles. Back again. So it looks like they're trying to, to piggyback <clears throat> off the Silver Singles to the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, coronavirus. Coronavirus, face mask. Mm -hmm. Old guys riding uh, motorcycles. Old guys doing Viagra and uh, like coke and smashing it up. <laughs> yeah. So my last one I have here literally just says, from Mariel, it says, why did you block me? Hey. Why did you block me on WhatsApp? I am hurt. And that's it. You block somebody on WhatsApp? No. Oh. It's just a spam message. Oh, okay. The email is literally from 958VEQYPOVB1. <laughs> it's like a bunch of random shit. <laughs> dot info dot inbox li dot us at aol.com. Okay. I don't know how the fuck that's that works. That's a lot works. of dots. That's a lot of shit. <laughs> sure is. Jeebus. Yeah, man. We just, we just went off on the tangent. Tangents. Nice. Jeebus. Well, how about we bring the show back and get into the hot take question of the week? Mm -hmm. So, right. last week's question basically was if you could choose any car from either a TV show or a movie, which one would you have and why? All right. And uh, let's see. Let me pull up these answers here since my thing uh, restarted. Pull up and pull up and. Um. This one comes from Danny Solis oh. uh, of Q971. Yeah, what's up, Danny? And he wants the DeLorean from Back to the Future. Yeah, that's what I said, too, last week. So that's I think that's going to be a popular answer, honestly. It is. <laughs> I feel like that's going to be a definitely a popular answer. It is. It is. <laughs> yeah, uh, this next one comes from uh, Derek. He says, I would choose Herbie the Love Bug. Herbie. Not only could I compete in any sort of racing scenario and win, but also have a car that has a personality. 
Oh. Do you remember that movie, Herbie Lovebug? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Old movie. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Emilio says he wants the DeLorean. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dominic says, does the military Winnebago from the movie Stripes count? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Look it up. Google it. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Winnebago. Winnebago. W-I-N-N-E. Right. Bago. Stripes. So it was a movie? Yes. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Yo, that's the, like, fucking, like, most, uh, like, 70s van I've ever seen. Holy shit, it really is. It's called the EM50 Urban Assault Vehicle by GMC. The Urban Assault Vehicle. What the fuck? <laughs> urban Assault? What are they assaulting? I don't know. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna assault the hell out of camping. I, I think they're just gonna assault fucking good taste, really. That's it. Yeah, I like I said, that's the most 70s looking trucker. van ever. That is. All right, uh, Ryan says he wants the Canyonero. Go ahead and Canyonero. type in Canyonero. How the fuck do you spell it? The C? Canyon. Arrow? E-R-O, yep. Yeah. Right. yeah, it's the one from The Simpsons. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so the red Simpsons car. All right. And then uh, Chris, uh, Chris Lake actually. Oh, what's uh, up, Lake? He says he wants Kit from Knight Rider. Kit from Knight Rider. Oh. Yeah. K I T, right? Oh, K I double T. Look at yeah. that thing. Oh, yeah. That looks really nice. Hell yeah. Plus, it's smart. Oh, and it's smart they, too. They tried to redo this movie or uh, TV show, and Probably it didn't, it, it, didn't it didn't work. <clears throat> no. Because, first of all, they had some guy that, you know, isn't fucking Hasselhoff. Yeah. You know, and it's the same thing, you know, when they try to re- redo a. Uh, um, uh, like a uh, Han Solo fucking, uh, like, what do you call it? I don't know. Origin story, whatever. Origin story? It, it, it's, it's not uh, yeah, Harrison yeah, Ford, yeah. and everybody's like, what the fuck? Yeah. You know, so they're just losing it's not the same. Their, yeah, they're losing their shit over it. Yeah, I agree. I, but, yeah. I see why. Um, so, yeah, that's that's all I got really over here. Okay, cool. So, um, that, those are all from your Facebook post. From my Facebook post, this one comes from Ruben, my cousin. He says, the Batmobile. Hey. And then someone replies with which version in which there was no reply. So, oh. <laughs> uh, this one comes from Ryan in Texas. He says the DeLorean so I could go into the future and get the winning uh, lotto numbers. And then somebody replied and get no vaccine for the COVID-19. Oh, my God. What the fuck? All right. This one comes from Richard. He's Richard. a big Richard if I ever seen one. Uh, he w- says the 1967 Chevy Impala from Supernatural. Huh. I've never seen that. I wonder what it looks like. Oh, I, I found one more when we're doing this. <clears throat> oh, okay. 1967 Chevy Impala Supernatural. Uh, there it is right there. Janet watches the show all the time. Uh, I see. I remember this car. Yep. Yeah, it's a nice car for sure. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, so th- uh, this one uh, is from Christina. And she said, um, uh, Vin Diesel's black car in Fast and the Furious. Vin Diesel's black car? Yeah, it's, it's a it's an old school charger. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. This thing was nasty, dude. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Such when a dirty he, When uh, him and uh, Paul Walker are going to race, and, like he, uh, uh, they say, go, and so like, like, yeah. it, like, just picks up, and you're like, holy shit. I had shit. no idea that cars did that at the time, and so when I saw that, I was like, look what how big, the fuck? Look how big the fucking back wheels are, dude. It's just huge. Dude, they're huge. It's, yeah. It's huge. Huge. Yeah. Crazy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the next one here. Um, That's the wrong email. Okay, I was going to start reading my, my spam messages. Read again. more spam, man. Yeah. So this one comes from Curtis E. Bear, the courtesy bear. <laughs> go... I was, the email is courtesy bear at bears can't talk dot com. But they could type. Yeah, apparently. They say that Canyon Arrow, it seats 35, is two lanes wide, weighs 65 tons, smells like a steak, and is only the, the only truck endorsed by a clown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Curtis E. Canyon Arrow. And we have a returning man that hasn't been on the show in quite some time, Mr. Jesus Zipper. Good old Jesus Zipper. He's back. Sweaty Gooch at TwistedTank.com. He goes ahead and says, I'd take the Mach 5 from Speed Racer. That car is ready for anything. 
It is. The Mach 5 from Speed Racer. Yeah. Uh, um, remember, he had, like, a steering wheel, and he could um, press a button, and it could either, like, get, like, really tall, like, if there's, like, shit in the way, or... Um, oh, could, okay, I think it okay. could shoot, like, missiles or something like gotcha, that, too. Gotcha. And then They actually remade this car in uh, Grand Theft Auto, GTA 5. Really? Yeah. Yeah, nice. it jumps up and shit, and has, like, a... Probably where he got the answer from. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know who yeah. this is, so... Yeah, it's a pretty cool car. Um, I lock it. Did you ever watch Speed Racer? Mm, I have no idea, honestly. It was I like an old ass movie. Yeah, I, I didn't really watch it. Oh, okay. Um, they remade they remade the movie. Um, because oh. it was a TV show, but they remade it into a movie like a couple years back. Gotcha. I didn't see that either. Hmm. But fuck it, Mach Five. Fuck it, eh? Well, he said he said ready for anything. So I mean, yeah, I guess if you're in traffic, you can plow your way through or something. That's true. You know? That's true. Or or maybe like. I don't know. Trying to go over a mountain and probably help somehow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This next one comes from RJ Motherfucker. Good old RJ Motherfucker. R.jiz at gmail.com. So <laughs> good old RJiz at gmail. If that's your G- if that's your actual email, <laughs> good luck. Good luck getting a job he there. Says, I would want Lightning McQueen and or uh, what the fuck is the guy's name? Mater. Yeah. Mater. Toe Mater. Toe Mater so I can talk to them. Because I doubt I would be able to get inside and drive because I don't think that's how they work. <laughs> that's true. Would you be able to drive them? Would would going inside a talking car like this be considered like intercourse? If you go through the gas hole <laughs> or the trunk, perhaps. You're inside of a, a living car. Yeah, but it's kind of like a Megazord. <laughs> you, know, you just go inside the, the fucking robot's head. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. He didn't think about it. So there you go. He, yeah. he wants to get Lightning McQueen or, and or Mater. Good old Mater. And this one next one comes from Dixie Wrecked. Dixie, first name Dixie, last name Wrecked. Says, I watch cat porn. Wait. I watch cat porn at gmail.com. <laughs> what the fuck? I would want a boat from Spongebob, so now I have an excuse for the fishy smell of my car. (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck? Okay. (laughs) All right, that's pretty self-explanatory right right. there. (laughs) All right, this next one comes from Foreskin. Uh, extra sticky socks at it's come <laughs> <It's come. laughs> So uh, a returning guest here, Mr. Foreskin. They said I would ten thousand percent want the paddy wagon from the SpongeBob movie because Sandy Cheeks is in that movie and Sandy Cheeks knows karate. So Foreskin and Sandy Cheeks, they they got a What's little the paddy wagon. The paddy wagon. Um. Uh, it's just a big fucking hamburger. Just a big hamburger. Well, there you go. Okay. Well, he wants to be in it with with uh, with his girl, and uh, <laughs> I don't know who the fuck that is, but uh, looks like Sabrina. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Anyways, uh, so next one we have is from first name E Norma, last name Stitz. E Norma mm. Stitz. <laughs> This is good. So the email is slidedoordickinme at yahoo.com. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I don't know. Tell us more. They say the pussy wagon from Kill Bill because that's a dope ass name. And it says and it says it right on the uh, right on the ass of the truck. Yeah. It the does. pussy wagon. It had a keychain too. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Uh Janet and I just watched Kill Bill and she Janet was dying that it said pussy wagon. <laughs> And uh, his keys said pussy wagon on it. Oh, my God. All right. So this next one comes from <laughs> Come Tits. All right. And this one is titties are great at gmail.com. <laughs> is fucking Tony the Tiger write this shit? <laughs> I guess so. They go ahead and say Stone Cold's monster truck from Raw because it's badass because Stone Cold said so. I agree with that. And that's the bottom line because Stone, Stone Cold, Cold said, said so. so. All right, nice, nice answer there. Weird name. Uh, <laughs> so this one comes from first name Coxin, last name My Ass, <laughs> and their email is lickitytit at gmail dot com dot com. Oh my god! <laughs> Says I would get the burger car from Good Burger 
Because imagine cruising that shit down the street. You would probably get all the fat, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, Oh, shit. That's fucking funny. Oh, my God. Once again, from... uh, (laughs) My answers are all real cars and shit. Your, your, yours are all fucking pussy wagons and hamburger cars and fat hamburger. bitches. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Okay, nice job, cocks in my ass. That was a good one. Yeah. You know, and I was actually that's that's the end of the uh answers on my side. <laughs> Oh, that sounded like a burp out of your ass. Anyways. Man, it smells like one, too. (laughs) I was actually thinking about this this week, too. One of the cars that I would actually really want, what I would put at the very top of the list, is the the dog car from Dumb and Dumber. Okay. Do you remember that? that. Big ass, uh, I guess it was like a Suburban or some shit. Mm -hmm. Big ass SUV with the... With all the dog hair and stuff like that. The floppy that thing's ears, awesome. Yeah. That thing's fucking awesome. I'll get one of those. Hell yeah. So there you go. Thanks for all the uh, questions. Or sorry, thanks for all the answers this week. Yeah. That's awesome. Good old cocks in my... <laughs> <laughs> oh, TwistedTaint.com. So, all right, Almanac Jack, let's get into this week's Hot Take Question of the Week. All right. Well, this week's Hot Take Question is, uh, well... Let's just say this. <laughs> if you had to pick a superpower, which one would you pick? Oh. Pretty simple. And why? Yeah. And why? Like, you got to think really hard because you can only have one superpower. And you can't say, I want to have Wolverine's powers. And you can't say that because he has multiple powers. True. All right, so this week's hot take question is, which superpower would you pick and why? Ooh. And you can't say... I would have Wolverine's powers because he has multiple powers. He does. You can't say I want Superman's powers because he has multiple powers. He True can fly, that. shoot lasers. He has cold breath. He can have the longest wiener he ever wanted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That reminds me of that uh, Family Guy episode where he's in the office with all the all the girls that are in there. And then the, the doctor or she comes in and she's like, uh, I don't know what happened, but everybody in here, all the girls in here have breast cancer. And it's from all... They said it's from uh, from somebody just using all kinds of x-rays and stuff like that. <laughs> it's just a Clark Kent in there. Oh, wow. Um, uh, I wonder where that could have happened. Yeah. He's x-raying him while he's doing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So, so <clears throat> one superpower. Damn. And why? So if I were to have one superpower and why, the very first one, I think, I think it would kind of cover for a lot of things. It would have to be invisibility. Why? Invisibility, be, just because you can really do just about anything with in, in, invisibility. Uh, like, I mean, so if you were going to fly somewhere, I mean, all you have to do is just invisibly get into a plane and get the fuck over there. Yeah. You can steal a plane and sure. no one would even know. You could watch somebody teach a plane class and they wouldn't even <laughs> know you're there. That's true. And then basically anything that you really need to do, you could either learn or whatever it is or do if you're invisible. Yeah. So, and then you can punch somebody out of nowhere and they wouldn't even know. Yeah. Invisibly. Mm-hmm. Cunt punch right in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. Everybody else is doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd probably have to go with invisibil- invisibility. I keep wanting to say invincibility. Okay. No. Invisibility. What about you, Mr. Jack? Well, I don't know. See, I'm kind of stuck between two. The first one being healing. Ooh. Like having the power to heal from really anything. Okay. Because that automatically basically uh, eliminates the risk of disease because your body will fight it off instantly. <laughs> Which would come in handy right now. Which would come now. in handy now, yeah. During our pandemic. Um, but you could also, you know, say, fuck it, I don't know, you want to uh, try to jump a motorcycle or, or you want to try to... Uh, Learn to skateboard or whatever, but you're scared because you're going to get a broken ankle or something like that. You'd instantly heal from, you know, a broken ankle. You'd instantly heal from, you know, a sudden impact, you okay, know, to so your how head. would that work then? Because then, like, if, you're, if your, like, ankle's getting rolled, 
Like, wouldn't you still feel the pain? Then all of a sudden it's like, ah, and you're all good. Oh, I'm sure you'd still feel or, the pain. Or, or, so then that would, that's where I would be all fucked right there. Yeah. I don't want to feel the pain of me. Not even for a split second of me, like splitting open my gooch or something like that. Yeah. And all of a sudden it's healed and you're like, all right, I'm good. You're, you're like, a twisted teen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. That's hella traumatizing, man. Yeah. Um, but, but it would also come in handy because, you know, say, you know, you're, you're fighting somebody or something like that, or you get into a car crash mm. and all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're got this blunt trauma to your head or something like that. And then it just, you know, kind of heal and you wake up in the car and you're just like, oh fuck, like, you know, I'm good, but like this, this sucks. And now I got to report to my insurance, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I know you're like literally taking makeup and like putting on blood and shit like that. Just to yeah. take pictures. Cause you're like, well, it didn't fucking hurt. So you could never claim like, <clears throat> oh, my neck hurts. You know? <laughs> So um, what's the other one? The other one would be like the ability to walk through walls. Oh shit! Or just walk through objects. If these walls could talk, yeah. Because I'm imagine you know like it kind of be like being a ghost. I would assume. Yeah. You know, you'd be able to walk through a wall. You can like kind of just poke your head out through a wall, but still like your body be on the other side. You know. That would be like the scariest shit ever, dude. Like, could you imagine like you're just like in your room or something, and you're just chilling and. Everything's going great, and all of a sudden, you just see this face on the wall. Hey. Hello there. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Ah! <laughs> Sal, what the fuck? I thought Lucky I, just, I wasn't naked. I thought I'd just pop my head in. <laughs> <laughs> so if you had to choose between the two, which one would it be? Um, Probably the healing thing. Okay. Because, uh, well, you never know. <laughs> you just never know. Because with the walk through walls thing, you know, if you could turn yourself basically like... Um, I don't know what the word is, but like able to, to go through anything, you know, you can get to a car yeah. accident, but you know, you got to have the split second ability to be like power on, you know, and, yeah, and yeah. not do that. What the fuck? Yeah. So I, I, gotcha. I think I would choose the healing thing. Cool. No, so, like okay. That. So, uh, again, hot take question is what superpower would you have and why? And, uh, don't forget to look for it on the social medias. And on the website for uh, the hot take question. Yeah. And where can they find the hot take question at? They can find that at the good times podcast dot com dot com. Yep. Good old dot com dot com. Com. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we updated the about me. Hey, you can go ahead and find mm-hmm. that out. But we'll have a little bit more on that after the show. Or yeah. pretty much and my picture is fantastic. It's absolutely it's, fantastic. The the photographer who did it is an absolute ace. Ace indeed. Ace in the hole, as they would like to say. The, the gas GTP hole. GTP hole. Oh, ace in the GTP hole. He sure is. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. So go check that out. The Good Times Podcast dot com, where you can answer the hot take question, read about us, and listen to episodes all in one place. Damn right. Q97 That's right. One. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Shit. <laughs> TheGoodTimesPodcast.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and take a break right here. And um, I got something to kind of read to you on the other side of this, and I want to kind of get your thoughts on it. Okay. That sounds good to me. Yeah. All right. This is The Good Times Podcast. We'll see you on... The Other Side. And we're back. Back here on the Good Times Podcast. I hope you enjoyed that small, tiny little break because I know I did because I get to sit here and listen to Almanac Jack digest this strawberry milk he just had. And and I will say that when it hits me in the nose, I'm going to (laughs) die. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. So I I came across this uh, picture thing and it... Raises a good question. Oh, okay. God. And, and I want you to hear out the question before you go, oh, God. Okay. Because the first the first two words will, will kind of make you go, oh, God. A demon. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. So a demon chooses you to receive a special gift in exchange for your soul. Ooh. Each of the following items is based on a cardinal sin. Hmm. But the powers they wield are very tempting. What the fuck? Which will you choose, if Anyone. any? Okay, okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, items. Okay, and they're based off of the seven deadly sins. Okay. Okay. So the first one is called the Wallet of Greed. Mm. And it says, 
Every day at midnight, this wallet will refill itself to exactly $1,000 in $100 bills. What the fuck? If you cross into another country, it'll automatically change the bills into the local currency. The cash can be deposited. Placing a credit card in this wallet will wipe it free of debt. Hmm. Okay. The second one is called the Watch of Sloth. Pressing the hidden button on this watch will freeze time for a period of up to an hour, allowing you to play now and save work for later. Nobody will be aware of the situation or of your movements. During the freeze, uh, sorry, uh, aware of your moments during the freeze, it will need to recharge for at least two hours before its next activation. Hmm. Uh, next one is the Spectacles of Envy. Wearing these glasses, you'll be able to see a person's deepest, darkest secret written above their head. Wow. Prolonged use of the glasses will turn your eyes a bright shade of green. Hmm. But you will eventually be able to see additional private information about a person, including their thoughts regarding yourself. Hmm. Next up, the Ring of Pride. Wearing this ring greatly enhances your cognitive abilities, allowing you to access dormant memories and information with extreme clarity. Wow. You will retain all knowledge, allowing you to instantly learn languages and skills. Hmm. Your creativity will improve exponentially, and your confidence and drive will be unmatched by anyone around you. Wow. Unless they have the ring, too. <clears throat> True. Yeah, they might have made a deal too, eh? Yeah. Next up, the flask of gluttony. This mm. flask will always be filled with the liquor of your choice, no matter how much you drink. Carrying this flask gradually causes you to become more fit, and you will maintain this figure regardless of how much you eat or drink. Wow. You will no longer require sleep to maintain your stamina, and your body will become resistant to most forms of diseases. Hmm. Uh, there's two more. The Gun of Wrath. This pistol will never miss its target, so long as that person is within the view of the shooter. Mm. The magazine will always be full. While holding this firearm, anyone who looks at you, including cameras, will see you as someone completely different than your actual appearance. Wow. Killing someone adds their unused lifespan to your own, and you will age much slower. Hmm. So you're basically draining their life force when you kill them. Damn. Uh, and the locket of lust is the last one. Wearing this locket or having it on your person will cause members of the opposite sex to, uh, to desire you sexually. They will impulsively give in to your advances, allowing you to sleep with any person uh, of your choosing. <clears throat> Placing someone's photograph within this locket will cause them to fall uncontrollably in love with you so long as the necklace remains in your ownership. Jeez. So seven items mm. uh, based off of the se seven deadly sins, greed, sloth, envy, pride, gluttony, wrath, and lust. So if you had to choose one, which item do you think you would be uh, more likely to go towards? Okay, so first, first and foremost, I just want to say this. The wallet of greed is extremely flawed because if the bank started to see... That your account continually got fucking replenished every single night, the IRS would absolutely destroy you and you would be dead within the year or something like that. But you don't have to deposit <clears throat> though. You don't have to deposit the money. But what would you what would you be spending it on? They would start seeing cars, they would start seeing all kinds of shit that would have to be, you know, reported. Yeah, but see that's why you maintain a regular day job. I mean, I guess you could launder the money that way, but at some point, you're probably going to end up getting caught because the IRS doesn't miss. No, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they <laughs> Got say. Got a job. Yeah. Uh, the Watch of Sloth, the fr uh, Freezing Time. That one's pretty cool. Uh, Spectacles of Envy. That one is probably the most intriguing to me. Uh, Ring of Pride, not bad of the cognitive abilities. The Flask of gut Gluttony is actually the uh, pretty cool. Yeah, you can just totally get ripped by holding onto this flask. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gun of Wrath, not bad either. The Locket of Lust, that just sounds like, like a fucking day job, dude. dude like <laughs> A day job? Yeah, dude. It's like all of a sudden you're just horny and then they're like, 
<laughs> yeah. Like, God damn, bro. Yeah. So it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't <laughs> none of these seem that bad. Honestly, if I have to go with any of them, I probably have to go with the, what was it? The glasses of envy or some shit. The spectacles of envy. Spectacles of envy. I think that would be pretty cool to see uh, people's deepest, darkest secrets and Ma- what they feel about. Imagine seeing mine. Oh, God. I'm looking right above you right now. It says, I enjoy <laughs> strawberry milk. <laughs> <laughs> you you enjoy pooting strawberry, strawberry milk. Strawberry farts. Digesting. Yeah. All right, what about you? I, I got to go with that ring, man. The ring? The ring. The, the ring ability to The ability to have your old memories unlocked. That would be awesome. And the ability to learn languages and skills at, a, at an instant. Mm-hmm. Like, you know me, dude. Like, I'm all about, like, learning shit. So, For like, sure. that thing would just be pff, awesome. Pff. I'd, wear, I'd wear two rings. Wedding ring and that ring <laughs> at the same time. Two rings? Yeah, dude. It'd be awesome to have that. And then it says... uh. Your confidence and your drive will be unmatched by anyone around you. That'd be great. Yeah, for sure. Unless they have the ring and then it's like, you're that, just trying to one up each other. The that's whole a contest. Time. Yeah. That would be hilarious. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> you just keep getting louder. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the whole damn time. Yeah. But I, I think that'd be pretty cool to, to have that ring dude. And just, you know, say like, uh, I think I'm gonna go to, uh, France today. And then you go over there, and then you're just like, omelette du fromage. You know, you're just talking shit to him, you know. <laughs> I wonder if this includes, like, fake languages, like Klingon and, like, just fucking random shit. All the shit. Star Wars languages, yeah. Yeah, like, all the random ones. Like, you just hear, like, one line, you're like, yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. Could you imagine, though, like, have, knowing all these languages... And then, like, if you're, like, I don't know, if you're in, like, fucking India or something like that, and all of a sudden you're like, ay, Dios mío! Yeah. Oh, shit, that was the wrong one. You're like, oh, fuck, wrong oh, language. Fuck. Sorry, guys, hold on. <laughs> Hang on, guys, gotta change the channel here. <laughs> the SAP <laughs> button, where's that? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so, uh, for anybody listening, um, go ahead and let us know which one you would pick uh, out of all of those, and send it to us on either the Twitter, the Instagrams, or... The Good Times Podcast uh, email. Yeah. Do it. Did it. Dot it. Dude. Wait, what? Huh? Hmm? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was a pretty cool segment there. So what do we got next, Mr. Jack? Well, I'm a wrestling fan. Are, Are you? you? <laughs> I am. Really? Yes. Have you ever wanted to create your own wrestler? Have I? Wanted to? Yes. Wow. Me too. (laughs) (laughs) Well, we get a chance to do that right now. All right. Cool. Because we are going to create our own wrestler. Sweet. Yep. So how is this going to go? Like, what what did we? What was the criteria of the stuff we had to fill out in order to create our own wrestler? Well, the criteria was uh, uh, we got to have their name, like the real name, Mm -hmm. and then you know the wrestling gimmick name, Mm -hmm. uh, their hometown. Their height and weight, mm-hmm. what they look like, uh, what the costume looks like, mm-hmm. uh, what is their signature move, their finishing move, okay. what's the their theme song, what is their catchphrase, and uh, also their signature match, and who is their rival. Okay, cool. So I did mine, you did yours. Yep. Uh, do you want to go back and forth, or do you just want to go one by one? Yeah, we can go back and forth. Back and forth, all right. So, the real name of your character, what is it? His name is Shecky Schwartz. <laughs> Not Shecky Shabazz? No, nope, Shecky Schwartz. Shecky Schwartz. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And my guy's real name, my, my wrestler's real name is William Jones. Okay. So, you already know that. Yeah. You already know that one. And uh, so, what was the next one? We have our wrestling uh, gimmick. Yeah. Uh, so... He he's gonna go by Shecky Schwartz, okay. Um, but uh, his his nickname is the big, <laughs> the big baggy ball man, <laughs> Shecky Schwartz. <laughs> the big baggy ball man, Shecky Schwartz is in the building. Yep. All right. So my uh, William Jones goes by a different name. He goes by Bobby the Baconator Jones. Oh, yeah, Bobby like the that. Baconator Jones. Nice. Okay, where's he from? <laughs> He is from Martin County, Minnesota, which happens to be 
the bacon capital. Self-proclaimed, by the way. But it is the bacon capital. Of what? The United States? Of the, of the state? Of the world. Of the world? Of the world. Oh. And Bobby Jones, Bobby the Baconator Jones is from Martin County, where he basically probably got the gimmick and whatnot. But yeah, what about yours? Where did Shecky come from? Shecky Schwartz came from Fowler, California. Fowler? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Of all places, Fowler, all, California. <laughs> all right. Uh, what's his height and weight? He is 6'1", 247. 6'1", 247. So who would look 6'1", 247? Um, give, give me somebody that, like, I guess would look. Yeah, you're like probably a, looking about a Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode. Okay. Yeah. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Yep. <clears throat> All right. So, Bakey. <laughs> Bakey. Bobby the Baconator Jones. Mr. Bobby Jones. Baconator. <laughs> <laughs> that could be his uh, his tag team partner. Bakey-nator. <laughs> All right, so uh, Bobby Jones is 5'10", 330 pounds. Good God. That's a big motherfucker. That's a big boy. That's a big motherfucker. Yeah. All right, so what does he look like? Uh, Let's see. Shady. So he looks like uh, an average Fowler Californian, <laughs> <laughs> uh, which means that he uh, is Mexican, even though his last name is Schwartz. <laughs> <laughs> So he has uh um uh like a light brown skin. He has black long hair. Okay. And uh a neck beard. Oh, a neck beard, huh? Yeah. So just... <laughs> All right, Shecky. And several uh dumb tattoos. Oh. Several dumb tattoos. Yes. All right. Which we do not know because it looks like they get worse every time we see them. <laughs> That's like part of his seven deadly sins. He picked the wrong one, apparently. He sure did. He picked the bad tattoo one. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Mr. Bobby Jones looks. Uh, so, picture a white bowling ball with obese arms and legs. His head is shaped like Jay Leno, but his hair is like John Stamos. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, then what does he wear? What is his uh, his wrestling outfit? So the Baconator, he wears a singlet with small straps, and of they're course. colored brown and black. Oh. And in the middle of his chest, he has one tattoo, and it's an evil pig with red eyes holding a knife. <laughs> <laughs> what about Shecky? Shecky wears black tights with an upside-down heart on the front of it <laughs> that's peach-colored. <laughs> so it looks like a set of balls. <laughs> oh, very clever very clever <laughs> all right so what is what is shecky's signature move his signature move is an inverted atomic drop an inverted atomic drop yep. which will land <laughs> you, right on right on your balls right on the right on the good old huge and and uh baconators <laughs> all right so the baconator he tosses his opponent to the ropes, shoots back, picks him up for a flapjack, but while he's falling down for the flapjack, he flips him like a burger patty for a spine buster. Landing back and head on the canvas, this is called the pigskin. Ooh. Or sorry, the pig spin. Oh. Same thing. Oh. <laughs> pig spin. I guess. All right, what about you? All right, uh, next up is the finishing move. No, you didn't say your signature move. Yeah, I did. The inverted atomic drop. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. All yeah. right. Yeah. So next bad. up is the finishing move. Shecky Schwartz's, uh, the big baggy ball man, Shecky Schwartz, <laughs> his finish is called the front end. <laughs> oh, okay. So while his opponents are down on their knees, he runs at them and gives them an atomic tea bag. <laughs> So is this like the Shining Wizard, but it's just... D d yeah, you're just running balls. at him like this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, so, ima yeah, so imagine like Daniel Bryan's running knee. Yeah. Except it's not his knee. <laughs> it's his balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a Shiny Wizard if I've ever seen one. That's like sure a hairy is. wizard. Yeah, sweaty <laughs> wizard. Okay, so the pig spin... Is meant to move, or this move is meant to set up his finishing maneuver, which he calls 
the Baconator Originator, where he climbs to the top rope, jumps as high as he can, and he twists in midair, where he lands back first on his opponent, signifying sizzly, sizzling bacon has been flipped to perfection. Ooh, and, and, <laughs> and the crowd, after the move gets hit, the crowd goes, <laughs> that'd be great. Okay, what is his theme song? So, a lot of people probably won't know this theme song, but it's called Bacon by the band Obesity. Oh, can we play it? We can. Okay. We can. Let's go. Oh, that should probably pull this up. All right, here we go. Bacon, Obesity. Here we go. All right, I like it. Especially because the obesity uh, logo is a duck. <laughs> nice, I like there it. There you go. You should, Bacon uh, obesity. You should definitely play that so people can hear it. Oh, yeah, I definitely will. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, so what about Shecky McBall, man? Shecky, <laughs> the, uh, the big baggy ball man. Oh, yeah. His theme song is by D12. Oh, called My Balls. My Balls. <laughs> All right, let's play it. If it'll play. Come on, Eminem, hurry up. <laughs> I don't want to play that too long because I already know. It's going to get taken down. Because <laughs> of my balls, balls, balls. It's going to get taken down by your balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what about Shecky's catchphrase? Oh, his catchphrase is, come and wrestle me if you have the balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Bobby, Baconators? Bobby the Baconator Jones, he turns to the crowd and he looks around he looks up the ramp and he says where's the bacon and that's it <laughs> okay <laughs> i can see that on t-shirt that's all he does okay and uh what is his signature match so i wasn't too sure what it what do you mean by the signature match like you know how the undertaker has a casket match oh kane has an inferno match oh, okay the great Kali has the Punjabi prison match <laughs> God, so racist. It's hilarious. <laughs> um, so let's see. The Baconator, his signature match would be to have literally just a match in a what the fuck is it called? Uh, where pigs fucking live in mud. A pigsty. A pigsty. Okay. A pigsty match for the Baconator man. Nice. What about Shecky? Shecky Shabazz. Well, he's uh coming up with a brand new match. Okay. And it's called a Target the balls match. God. And it's a, uh, both wrestlers are trying to hit each other's balls with a punch, an elbow, a oh. kick, and a knee. It's basically a scoring match. So you have to do all four within one match. Oh, First one to four God. wins. All right. And uh, each wrestler has to get a sticker on their tights <laughs> of a target on their balls. So <laughs> you know where to hit it at. Oh, that's... That's so good. So what, what's the name of the match? Target the Balls match. Target the Balls match. Yeah. All right. Pretty simple, huh? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, the last one up is uh, who is their rival? Okay. So the Baconator, obviously one big guy at 330 pounds, and all he does is eat big meats, including bacon and hamburgers. He is very well liked. However, his rival is not very well liked at all. He goes by the name of Vito the Vegetarian. Oh. Who is 6'3, 200 pounds, has 2% of body fat, and spends his days doing Pilates and knocking meat out of people's hands. Knocking meat? Knocking meat out of people's hands. How dare he? <laughs> he wears a green spandex costume. But the crowd hates him so much, they call him the green condom. Oh. So, <laughs> this is obviously the very opposite of what the Baconator stands for. Yes. And he will not have this 
this unchivalrous, the vegetarian, bullshittiest shit. Condemonious. <laughs> Condemonious. All this other onious and blonious. None of that shit will happen. Damn. And one one of these days will be or sorry. And within the within the near future, coming up here at Meatsa Mania, Ugh. you'll be you'll be able to see Bobby, the Baconator Jones, versus Vito the Vegetarian in a pigsty last man standing match. And it'll be there live, the main event of Meatsa Mania. For Bobby the Baconator's world championship, made entirely out of bacon. <laughs> there you go. Nice. The bacon championship is on the line. All right. All right. What about you? What about what about Shecky Shabazz, Shecky McLongball, the big, <laughs> the big baggy ball man, Shecky Schwartz's enemy, is a man who hates balls. Oh God. <laughs> he is the neuterer. <laughs> the neuterer is his mortal enemy because, as Shecky Schwartz is the big, uh, baggy ball man. Uh huh. The neuterer is the anti-baggy ball man. Oh, yes, Because indeed. he makes those baggy balls non-baggy anymore. Damn right. He makes them non-existent, mm-hmm. you see. Empty. And the thing is, the neuter wants to neuter Shecky Schwartz. Oh, no. Which is why it's coming down to a target the balls match. Oh, no. Also at, what was it called? Meetamania? Meetsamania. Meetsamania. It is the semi-main event. <laughs> and... The target the balls match will determine whose balls will be neutered. <laughs> so basically, we have uh, uh, a, the neuterer still somehow has balls. Yes, he does. He just wants to neuter everyone else except his. But see, isn't that typical bad guy though? He wants to get rid of something, but he mm-hmm. still has it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at Hitler. Black hair. But he wanted a race of all uh, white guys and blonde people. What's going on here? See? In the upcoming weeks, you'll be able to see <laughs> Mr. Shecky McLongball versus not the neuterer, but his sidekick, the Visectomist. Oh! <laughs> the Visectomy Kid. Yeah, there you go. The Visectomy Kid. Yeah. Actually, you know who... Uh, uh, didn't I have a... Oh, Porno Star's uh, sidekick, uh, the Teabag Kid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's his tag team partner. There you go. <laughs> You'll be able to see that on Monday Night Raw Bacon. <laughs> Monday Night Raw Meat. Raw Meat. <laughs> and balls. Hell, yeah. Hey, so um, with with your guy being so fat, mm-hmm. um, that, that kind of like got me thinking like... Um, what if there was like a big old catastrophe like you see in the movies where like, you know, a Godzilla type creature starts coming out and mm. everybody starts running away. Yeah. With with like the world being a, as fat as it's getting, mm-hmm. do you think that people could actually run away from a catastrophe like that? Mm. Because there's a lot of out of shape people, dude. Well, and it's not even just because they're like really fat, it's because like no, we're they just haven't it. worked out in forever, yeah. you know? So like they have no wind in them at all. Right, right. So, like, like, how do you think that would work out if, you know, say Godzilla just <laughs> out of nowhere came out of, came out and, and said, you know, hey, fuck you guys, I'm going to eat you all, you know? <laughs> so, I think the first thing that you would have to think of is uh, in humans, there's always the fight or flight mode. Gotcha. So, that's the first thing that's going to kick in, fight or flight and adrenaline. But that adrenochrome is only going to last so long. <laughs> adrenochrome. <laughs> so, the, the, yeah, exactly. So, the adrenaline will actually be able to push them from the bathroom to the front door where they will fall over. And die. Yeah, they won't die by Godzilla. Not though. by Godzilla either. They'll, they'll fall from that uh, that first step, <laughs> yeah. the first step on their on their uh, patio, and they'll die from a heart attack at that point. Yeah, or they'll fall and like break their neck or something on something stupid. Honestly, that stupid lawn gnome that they have on their front yard. Honestly, I feel bad for saying it, but if I if it were at a point where it was like something apocalyptic, and I had to see a guy that was like six hundred pounds run. <laughs> I tell you, dude, this I would like, die because I would be on the ground, fucking dying or something myself. <laughs> like, God, I can't even think about it. How do you think you would do though? Like, do you think you would be able to run away for, for a while? I honestly, I honestly have no idea because I can't say that I've ever seen somebody above six hundred pounds run. Well, yeah, besides, because they wrestler, roll. Right? That's why. There's, I think there's a wrestler that's that's over six hundred pounds. 
Necro Butcher? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the Necromancer. <laughs> yeah. Um, shit. Well, there used to be back in the day the Haystacks Calhoun. That's right. That's right. Six hundred pounds. Uh, Big Daddy V. He was uh way over five fifty. Yeah, for sure. But they were just they were in shape for their that's how true. big they were. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? It's kind of like. Well, like yeah, how, you watch like what do you call it? Uh, God damn, dude, this strawberry milk is just killing me, dude. <laughs> God, I'm glad I haven't smelled it yet. Yeah. Um, but uh, you think of like my 600 pound life? Yeah. Um, dude, like they're bedridden. Dude, they can't even get bad. out of the damn door. Yeah. They can't get out of bed, dude. They can't shower. They can't do anything. Yep. Nothing. I don't know how the fuck you I live. wash myself with a rag on a <laughs> stick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have somebody that has another rag on a stick, and they go in the back. <laughs> we got to keep changing sticks. <laughs> <laughs> I've we, already lost three this week. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I was going to say, we keep on losing rags, too. <laughs> hey, Meemaw, why don't you go on and give me another one of them rags? I lost this, net, this last one. Lost them. That was the last one. <laughs> Shit. Well, God damn. Is there a burger or something? Yeah. You ever wiped your ass with some lettuce? Can you give me a, a slice of bread? <laughs> Maybe that could work, huh? <laughs> oh, dude, that's all bad, but it's all right. Because it's all white. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how they would fare, and I don't know if I'd want to see it because I would, on, like... Honestly, like I, I said earlier that I would like fucking laugh, but honestly, I would feel really shitty because yeah. me being the nice guy that I am would probably try to help them out and then probably end up dying in the process. Not um, me. Uh-uh. Okay, so the old me would probably do that. The new me would probably help them out for a couple seconds and run. But yeah, there you go. Even the old me would say, fuck no, you. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's not the old you either. Yeah. <laughs> The old you is the new you. It's today. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. The old me, the new me, future me. Uh uh-uh. uh. Fucking Aries in me. It's bullshit. Yeah. Uh, oh well. There it is. There, yeah, there. Godzilla's got to eat sometime, right? The Baconator's going to make it. That's all I know. He wrestled, man. He, he Big Baggy Ball t- Man might not be able to do it because his balls are so baggy. That's true. Might be weighing down his ability to run. Unless he has a wheelbarrow. True. Or unless it's cold outside. Oh, I didn't think <laughs> about if he that. runs down naked oh. and it's cold outside, he'll be great. Just That's no true. pants on. Just no pants on. Yeah, maybe just get some tidy whities to like help 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 him out. Compressions. Right? Yeah, compressions. Be, I mean, how bad would that be if you're running down the street and you're just just like sliding them down? You know, you're just dragging like, sack across the uh, concrete. Like that would hurt. Oh yeah, that would hurt. Like and you would be in danger, and you would have so much adrenaline going by the time you get at the. <laughs> God, <laughs> and by the time you get to the end of the road, you look down and half your sack's gone. <laughs> He's down to one ball. He's down to one ball. It looks like a jawbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> the colors and everything. <laughs> With the colors. <laughs> and that's how long our uh, one leg Balio came from. Dude, sack meat is just different colors. God, that's so gross. <laughs> Why are we talking about that? I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, let's wrap this show up. Uh, Executioner, where can they find you on the social stuff? All right, first and foremost, I want to thank Yeshua and Elohim for allowing me to do this. Uh, I also want to let everybody know that we were talking about earlier about the About Us page. All you have to do is go to thegoodtimespodcast.com, hit the About button, and from there you'll be able to see both of our pictures and our About Me, our little bios. And right under each one of our bios, you'll be able to click... Um, wherever you want to go in terms of our social media. So you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat. I'm not putting on my Twitter anymore because I don't want to fucking offend people. So, but I mean, if you want, if you, if you look, it's not that hard to find me, but if all I got to say is if you want to look at my Twitter, proceed with caution. So pretty much find me everywhere at the executioner, or you can just hit me up on Facebook, Chris clips, Hernandez. I also want to thank everybody for listening on in and sending in all the answers every single week. Even if you just tell somebody about our podcast, like, hey, do you listen to podcasts? Or, hey, you should check out this podcast. Even if they don't check it out, it's all good. I do appreciate it. I know Mr. Almanac Jack appreciates it as well. And I just want to say I love each and every one of you. Stay safe from all the adrenochroming going on. And uh, what about you, Jack? Where can they find you? You can find me on the goodtimespodcast.com in the About Me section, or you can find me anywhere at B-S-A-L-S-A-N-C-H-E-Z. 
And don't forget to go and subscribe to the Good Times Podcast. Uh, the Instagram is thegoodtimespodcast.com. And don't forget to tell somebody about the show because the more you tell, the more we grow. Yeah. Okay? All right. So grow. we are desperately out of time. I got to take a dump from the strawberry milk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening to another episode of Good, Good Times. Good Times.